Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is V Rising, a very interesting survival game set in a gothic open world where you play as a vampire and it's definitely a game I'm going to be playing on the side. We've set up a PvE server with myself and the Complete crew, so we're going to have a little explore of this game probably get a few of us together to take on some of the tougher bosses and just it's really got quite a lot of depth a lot of people are comparing it to Valheim and I can see why they're saying that but I wouldn't the building mechanics are not quite as in-depth well anywhere near as in-depth as Valheim and it's different it's it's but it's definitely good it's definitely good and it's something I just wanted to highlight on the channel so we're going to check in and uh, just go through the opening part so you get a feel for maybe whether you would like to play this game yourself. Okay, so I've started again and myself and the complete crew have wiped the server. So we're going from here and I guess I'm going to check in with you guys from time to time on this Let's Play. I'm not going to call it a Let's Play, but I'm just going to check in. We'll probably end up streaming this on Twitch, but I can definitely feel that this game has got some really good vibes about it and um, I think in co-op it's going to be really really good fun so there is a few of us and I'm sure I'm going to be able to take on some of the best bosses with a few of the complete crew helping me out so that's Joker James and yeah I'm happy with that one okay Joker James awakens from his thousand year slumber so what I wanted to do in this episode or video if you will is go over the starting area we want to get to a point where we've built a base perhaps even for our first boss just doing the the, the all of these tutorials in the top right hand corner and the first one is just we need to collect 30 bones and build our bone sword and everybody this crypt I think is sort of separate to the map and you eventually come out of here into this big open world so now there is a few members of the complete crew on the server as well and I'm sure they're going to be building around the starting area so I want to have a good look around for a place to lay down our base and because this is open world and survival as well I'm just trying to jump down there I can't I still need to get used to the mechanics as well myself but I can definitely feel myself really really getting into this okay so we jump down there I'm sure there's going to be a, an ability to be able to fly or jump up later on in this game. There's some areas that I've not been able to reach. Okay. A few more bones. And I'm just going to get all of this stuff that I can. I'm going to spend a little bit of time around this starting area as well just gathering bones we're gonna need the bones so a lot of people are comparing this one to Valheim I wouldn't really I wouldn't really say that to be honest I think it definitely the combat mechanics feel a lot different to Valheim definitely a lot more skill with the combat mechanics I think this is going to be working really well in groups it feels like it's going to make a really good co-op game as well but there is some great survival elements so I'm just going to grab some wood probably don't well I will need it because we're going to put down a base and that's the plan today now one thing I do like is we're not limited by weight you can carry like 500 logs and some of my ranged abilities there and ah there we go more bones so now we can claim this recipe we can craft ourselves a bone sword so it's quite a few crafting things 
different weapons we can get. There's maces, pikes, axes. They all have different buffs as well. Let's go over here. So I'm going to take some time just to go around this crypt area, get plenty of the bones and some of the resources from here because it's all good starting stuff. Now obviously it's actually daytime, you can see the little sun wheel turning on this server at the moment. There's some light there. If I step into the light I will start taking damage. This graveyard area doesn't really have much in the way of sunlight around it. There we go. So now that we've killed three of them, there you go, you can see the light started coming down. I mean, you need to stick to the shadows in the daytime. It does limit your movement. Okay, so we've just opened the bone ring first of our armor here. This one gives us plus 5.2 spell power. So our first ring to craft and equip this. We're also going to need to make some armor, some bone armor I believe. Be next. Here we go. Bone guard vestments. So we've got to tick off all of those, get ourselves some more bones get ourselves a full set of this armor each one's going to increase our maximum health there now we've got our sword each weapon also oh let's start one up has its own resource gathering site the mace gathers more iron gathers iron faster. The sword gathers fibre much quicker. We're going to be able to upgrade all of this stuff. So get used to the fighting a bit more. What are they in? To aim behind it. I need to think more Project Zomboid. Aim behind. But I will get it though. You can see there our blood pool is going down. We're going to need to fill that up. The minute that blood pool empties, we end up taking damage. So we need blood. And there's a rat just there, so we need to drink something. So we're going to drink the rat blood. Fill that pool up. And there we go. Now, it's not actually the very good blood. Different creatures, people in the game, their blood, depending on the quality of it, increases the amount of damage we can do. But plain old rats are going to keep us going at the very least. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of this armor created. Then we need to head out and find somewhere just to build our first base, somewhere that feels comfortable. As you can see, sun is just about to go down now. And so it's just timing. So there is definitely skill based combat. Darkness can move around freely outside as well. Okay, let's get all of this armor crafted up and then we'll head out. I think I'm just going to head out into this map. We came out on the west side last time, so I'm going to come out on the east side. And you can see this map is going to be absolutely huge. So I'll go east this time. And we need to find some hide to craft the last two pieces and we're not going to get any hide off the skeletons so I've taken my time to grab as much as I could from that area now I need to look for somewhere to put a base down really we need to get a crypt down so we can respawn and need to look for some hide 
Okay, so looks like we've got a waypoint here. Some walls. See, now I can feed on this wolf, and it's going to give me an extra 5% creature blood. So that's better than the rat blood. So healed up here. Let's have some deer. Because we need the hide. Okay. Sun's going to come up soon. So I am going to have to stick to the shadows. Which hide we've got? Probably. Have we got enough to do? Yeah, it looks like we can craft the last two pieces here. Then we got a full set of armor. I think I'm just gonna kind of stay in this area. There's more ghouls and things here we can get. It's probably a little bit safer just around here. Now that we've got the full set. Got a new tutorial quest. I think this will be to put down our castle foundation. Our blood heart as it is. No, bone axes, okay. Can probably do that one straight away. That'll just be wood and bone. Um guess I'm just going to have to stay here. There's quite a few trees around here. Right. Bone axe. can do that straight away. Later on we're going to need to put a smithy down and forges and stuff to be able to craft better items. Okay. Got some axes. So this is going to help us cut down trees a lot quicker. And we're going to need plenty of wood to put a base down. Let's see what the next one is. It's probably the mace that we've got to unlock next. Stick to the shadows. Okay. Bone Mace is next. And we can probably do that one straight away. Oh, oh some skeletons coming in here. I don't really want to chop down the trees because that's what I'm hiding in. Okay. We're good. Just stick here. Okay, so we've got another waypoint here. And I think I'm just going to set up across from this waypoint because we're going to be able to travel between different waypoints fast, do some fast travel. So I think that's going to be handy to be nearby it. And it looks like there's a raised section over straight in front of us up the top here that might be worth taking over. I've tried to move as far away from the starting area as I can, but I think this will do. Looks like we've got a rubble golem over there. I'm not powerful enough to take that on yet, but is there a higher part to this? Just kind of avoid it. Ah, oh, there we go. If we can, yeah. So there is some ruins up and around here, which as an indicator is a good place to put down a base. But yeah, up the top here, I think we should be relatively safe. Plenty of stuff to cut down, plenty of resources, some old ruins that we can take down. And this kind of a uh, central location. Central-ish, but away from the starting area. Okay, can I place it down there? There we go. Okay. That'll do. 
So I'll place it just here. And we also need to expand the territory. It takes blood and bones. And I guess we're just going to kind of expand on this, really. It says we need to put down some walls and structures. And definitely want to put ourselves a coffin down, somewhere to respawn. Somewhere to go when we log out as well. Let's say we'll take over as much of this area as we can. Let's just shove a coffin down there for the time being. Now, I want to put this brazier down somewhere as well around here. What this does is it creates a mist. You stick bones in it, puts a cloud over the top of your base so you can sort of run around. At the moment, I'm not going to be able to put a roof on top of what we build, so I want to be able to create a shadow. So when the sun comes, we've got somewhere to kind of run into. There we go. Putting a mist over the top of this area. So we're going to need to feed that heart. It's going to need feeding in order to power all of our structures, all of our workbenches, and it runs out. If you fill it up completely, it's going to last a couple of days offline, so you'll be able to go away for sort of 48 hours, but the longer you leave it, the more your base will decay, so you've got to keep topping it up. I've got a lot of clearing out to do here today. I think it's going to make a cool area. Okay. I need to build, like, storage and stuff. I need to empty my pockets to be able to go out into the open world. Just claim this and stick something down in the corner here. There we go. Claim that space. Let's put a chest down next to my bed. I can empty some of this inventory that I've been picking up because we're going to need all of this stuff. Okay, so I've got a few walls down. I'm going to place this sawmill down because we need planks in order to make our smithy. So I'm going to have to feed that. Taking a hit. You can see where the shadow kind of ends here. That's how far the brazier stretches. So I'm going to need to put down some more, get some, get some more of these walls up. And we'll get this sawmill working. Get some planks carved up. That's just working. That's just sort of ploughed by our play cart here. Which again, the castle heart, we're going to need to top up. We're going to get the smithy crafted up. Next, we need this workbench. Not the smithy, but workbench. Okay, so now we can craft some plated bone guards, get some better armor on. We can also make copper, and I want to get some copper weapons done next, because at the moment these bone stuff, all of this basic stuff, we're going to need to swap all of this over in order to get stand a chance really out in this open world. Okay, we can do the Blood Rose Ring. It's got a gear level of 6 and gives us plus 6.8 spell power, so that's twice as good as the one we're wearing. We'll get that crafted up as well. But really, we're going to need to get a forge down, start smelting some copper. Now make the blood altar. The blood altar is what we're going to use to track the bosses in the game. The bosses that have got the best blood that we can drink and uh, also give us different powers. What I want to do is I really need to get that forge down because we're going to need copper. Okay, so that's the smithy. We can start smelting some copper now. I've got a little bit of copper in the chests and first thing I want to do 
Let's get myself that pike. If we do a copper pike, that does creature damage. So, have we got any copper in my inventory? There we go, we've got some copper all there. Not enough to get us started. But I've got some more. We'll go and gather some more. Okay, so I'm going to take this spear because the spear does plus 25% physical damage to creatures. And the first boss we need to take on is this alpha wolf, which is definitely going to be really, really hurt by this weapon. So that's the first one I'm going to craft up. If we can kill that, then we're going to be able to drink its blood and take on its ability. We're going to be able to become a wolf and then get around a lot easier. And of course I need the copper mace as well because that's going to allow us to harvest some of the bigger copper nodes. So it's more of a straightforward directional one, very precise forward movement with the spear. But get used to it. And we just come over to our blood altar here. We'll see we've got the alpha wolf. And you can see this blood trail kind of sniff out this wolf here. I think I can just jump down the side of this cliff at the moment. Yeah, there we go. Direction. So I'm just going to follow this trail and we'll track this wolf. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay, the wolf den. So this is our first boss. And it's going to summon other wolves, but we need to get this to take its blood to get its abilities. Get out of the way of that. There we go. We've got it. Stabbed it. Definitely need to practice at the combat here. That was uh, close. We're sucking its blood now. And we've got a new V blood type. So if we hold down the control, we can now turn into a wolf form. And we've also unlocked the research desk. So, kind of gone through the first area with you guys, and I think we'll call it there. Like I say, I'm going to stream this one probably over on Twitch, but I just want to highlight it. A lot of people have been comparing this one to Valheim. And like I say, as you can see, it's going to take me a little while to get the combat mechanics down. Um, the controls, just getting that familiar, but I really feel that I want to get better at this game. Um, I'm enjoying the combat and I definitely want to get my little vampire base down, build my little castle. As you can see, I mean, I've barely touched the map at the moment and um, me and the complete crew will probably team up as well, take on some of the other bosses, explore some of the other abilities, probably, you know, just I want to get better at this game. But let me know down in the comments what you think. I definitely think if you're on the fence about it, yeah, stick it on your wish list. But there's a lot of game here, even though it's early access. There's definitely a lot of game here. But I think we'll leave it there. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. I'll see you.